Right guys, it's time for another street food adventure. We are here in Nanning and we've found the biggest street food market that we've came across in China yet. So we've had a quick wander around and there is so much to choose from. So let's not waste any time and let's dive in. Absolutely no idea what this is. Do you know what it looks like? But it looks like black pudding. It looks exactly the same. And it's even got like the the fat around yeah. it, the way that black pudding is. So let's try and find out what this is. It smells really nice. Wonder if it's similar to black pudding. What is this? Um, pork blood sausage. sausage. Exactly the same as what black pudding is. Yeah. Black pudding is, I don't know if it's pork blood, but it's blood and oats. So, yeah, we have one. One, yeah. So I think it's with, um, looks like cabbage and a couple of other little herbs. And we've got spices, of course. <laughs> yeah. Excited. Do you know what? I'll actually be very surprised if this doesn't taste like black pudding. Because it looks exactly the same. So 10 yen, but a one pound for probably that would work out about like two sausages. Yeah, should we? I'll try one first without the yeah, spice. Yeah, I think we should try it first and then we can see if we need to add spices because I love black pudding the way it is back home. So yeah. hopefully it's similar. Alan? I think it will be. So see if you can have a look at this. Now you see the little white spots on that? I don't know if that's fat or bits of rice in with it. That's just what it's like before it's cooked. So there's lots and lots of white spots. So let's find out if this is fat or rice. That's oh, quite soft. The same? Black pudding. Exactly the same. Wow. I thought this was just a thing you got in Scotland. But in Scotland we have this for breakfast, not this street food dinner. Try and go on. I'm actually quite excited for this. There we are, we could um, go to McDonald's tomorrow, get some hash browns, get some pork blood sausage and we've got a nice little breakfast. <laughs> oh, it's quite um, mushy so it's slightly different to what we are used to but... Oh my god. Oh, it's got a wee crunch as well. Oh, no. That... <laughs> It's a taste of home. Can we add some chilli? Yes, of course. Oh my god, look. <laughs> Not that much. <laughs> now, I'll say one thing, it doesn't taste as strong as black pudding does, but it's just about as good as a real thing, especially all the way out here in China. Xiaoxian, yeah. Xian, thank you. <laughs> she wants to sleep with some chilli. Oh my god. Hot. Yeah, but I also picked up a bit with no chilli. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Chilli black pudding. Here we go. Hmm. Whoa. Spicy? That is spicy. It actually brings out the, the flavours in the sausage more. Which is really interesting because it is a very like fragrant spice. So I would have thought that it would have completely overpowered it. But it's not. It's delicious. Can I try a bit with chili? Want to go? Let's see. Now, is this going to be better or worse? So I think the little white spots—they're not fat. It's little bits of rice. So in Scotland we have oats, not rice, but. <coughs> Definitely tastier with chilli on it, but it's way better with tomato ketchup. So just as we were eating the black pudding there, Scottish black pudding, we spied something kind of interesting. Look at these tartan scarves. Maybe it's a Scottish theme night here at this little food market. <laughs> Wonder if we'll find some haggis. Hello. 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 Busy, busy. Oh no, I don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> 
What are these? Critters, I think. Is this? Eh. Oh no. <laughs> that is like the biggest I've ever saw. Yeah, this looks terrifying. Look at all these, like, I'm a celebrity stuff. Chilly though. I've got a nice flavour. Yeah. Octopus? Should we try one? Yeah. I have had octopus a few times, but these ones look slightly more terrifying, don't yeah, they? Yeah, the size of these. I mean, look at this one over here. Wow. So these are like octopuses. Put that up. <laughs> these are like octopuses cooked on some sort of like hot plate, um, and they press them down with like quite a heavy metal press. I guess and that stops them curling up when they're getting cooked. And then the chili paste over here. That looks delicious, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. What one would you think we should go for? This one looks the best. Like the that's almost like the tail, isn't yeah. it? Or the tentacle. Happy with that one? Yeah. One. Okay. One. Yeah. One. Wow. <laughs> oh, see, he cuts them. This must be just slop it curling up. Can I go as like charred almost? Probably? Yeah. Please don't go on a mail. Sorry, only English. He's just absolutely lashing this with oil. I think this kind of counts as deep fried. So yeah, over the Scottish teams again, deep fried, deep fried squid. <laughs> oh my god. The llama. Yes, yes. Yep. Some sort of paprika on top of the chilli. Uh, no, it's okay. No, no. Leave it off the stick. Wow, look at this thing. Fifteen. Fifteen. Pound fifty for this. I think, I think that's reasonable. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Alright, that's us paid. Right. I hope this doesn't go in my jumper. I know. Right, will we move over a wee bit? Yep. Can you see them? Wow. Like, this is like the longest kebab stick. Oh, it's all over your hands. Look, careful with your jumper. Oh, shit. Maybe we should have took the, the, the little pot that you said. <laughs> Here we go. Wow. Spicy? No, it's um, slightly barbecue. But the 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 powder that you put on top is like sort of Cajun spice. I can smell it from here. It's, um, it's not like rubbery octopus, like the way you get calamari sometimes. It's got quite a good like crunch to it. Oh, it's all over your face. <laughs> How do you like the squid? It's good. Delicious. It's really Messy. good. <laughs> Where are you guys from? Scotland. Scotland. I'm from Canada. You're from Canada? Yeah. Oh, cool. Whereabouts in Canada? Um, Calgary. Oh, cold. <laughs> Very cold. Freezing. Minus 30. Oh my Actually, gosh. this year just hit like the coldest, coldest temperature in the, in the, I think, the past 70 years. Oh my gosh. Too cold. Can you live through it? <laughs> Are you here? I'm just really think my parents. Are you here for New Year? Yeah, I actually haven't been back like to set up the Chinese New Year for like past 15 years. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, like, I'm really yeah. excited. That's so cool. Right, yeah. You guys enjoy, man. Thank you. Yeah. Alan, would you like okay. to try? Let's see if you can do it without getting any food on your jumper. Okay, I'm wearing the worst colour possible <laughs> for eating this. Oh, a good technique. Mm. <laughs> Keep chewing. <Yeah. doing. laughs> Thank God it's not like, um, like as Shannon said, rubbery and chewy. The sauce is sort of like, um, it's not sweet. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> uh, threw me off there. Uh, yeah, the sauce is sort of like, um, it's quite sweet. I thought it was going to be like all chilies you put on it, and it was going to be really hot. Uh, Are you just, disappointed by that? No, it's actually nice the way it is. Sometimes I think my food always has to be like really, really spicy, but it's nice to get a change sometimes. Look, it looks like it's going to be chewy because look, it is quite thick and it does look really, really rubbery. No? Just very messy. Wow. Right, let us destroy this and see what's up next. Actually, on second thoughts of finishing that, 
wasn't actually that great. The flavours weren't actually that strong. So it was alright, not the best, but luckily there's plenty of other options. Look at the length of the street and it goes every other direction. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Next up, we're going to try something that you will smell all the way across China. That is stinky tofu. It is the most sour, disgusting smell ever, honestly. If I could make this transfer through this camera right now, you would understand what I mean. But we've got to try these things when you're in this country. So, Alan, are you ready? Yeah, I mean, it, it, Shanna's not overreacting. It genuinely stinks. It ruins the smell of streets as you're walking through. However, I'm going to just check this exactly what it is because we thought we tried it once before but it was just tofu with like a, a lovely chilli sauce over it and we thought it was amazing only to learn that it isn't stinky tofu so I'm going to make sure that's what it is. Is this stinky tofu? Oh. <laughs> is this stinky tofu? Yes? Yeah! <laughs> she says it's good. <laughs> you never know what you're over these things? What are you thinking? Good or bad? Um, I mean, the fact that it's everywhere and you can smell it literally everywhere must mean that people eat it. Which exactly. If people eat it, it must mean it's good. So. Oh, here we go, we're preparing. Got some selection here at this stand. We've got crabs, pork belly. Look at the size of these prawns, look. Jeez, oh. Look at these. Langoustines, those, those ones. Are they, they're all fake though, aren't they? I don't think these are these. Those fake? ones are fake. They're fake. Yeah. Are, are we getting it? No. Are we. You have one? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So the order didn't quite go through. <laughs> Let's try again. Can we have one stinky tofu, please? I think the light may be hitting it. Yes? Tw yes. So, okay. Ah, uh, so it's black. That makes you think we should eat it. How often do you eat black food, Alan? <laughs> well, we just had black pudding and it was amazing, so. <laughs> so we're deep frying it in the biggest walk I've ever seen. I don't know if you can see with those spotlights. That looks like Henry the Hoover. <laughs> it does. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was quick. Oh, is that the stinky sauce? Oh, dear. Do you know what? I don't really smell it, so... I know. It's strange, the smell. It's It just hits you when you're, like, walking along the street sometimes. Very interesting it's like to see the what most, this is like. It's like the most distinctive smell though, like there's nothing else that smells like stinky tofu. Yeah, it's kind of the same like durian. Ah, exactly. Like you just smell it suddenly. Here we are. I mean it's got all the herbs and spices in it. At least that might distinguish this, hide the smell a little bit. Chin, chin. Okay, so will I try this first? Yeah. Right, okay. So just look at it. That looks like it's came straight out of hell. It's kind of like greeny, like a uh, uh, khaki green colour, yeah, is it? It doesn't smell great, to be honest. It just has a big like, rotten sour smell to it. Mm. Go on, pretend it's nice. No. <laughs> Should we walk, we walk away? away <laughs> it's just not nice. It tastes like tofu that's mouldy. It does. And it's got a horrible texture. It's sort of like tough and chewy and it's soaked up all the water so it's sort of uh, just some like sort of soggy, suey. Not nice. Shannon, go on. I should really start trying things first when we try things like this. I'm going to get in a bit with um, some nice seasoning, some fresh herbs, coriander. I mean look at the colour inside. So tofu is usually 
white inside. This one is as black as it comes. Brown, grey. I guess it's in the name. That is not nice. I'm sorry. When you bite into that island, right, this dirty water just explodes in your mouth. That is disgusting. I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll give it back. Okay, so we'll go and get rid of this and let's go and find something a little bit nicer. Because this is not it. We need to get some sort of refreshing flavour in our mouth after that. So we've came across this like drink stand. Everyone in China is obsessed with drinks, bubble teas, everything. So we're going to try some. We've got fruit drinks, coffees, milky drinks. So we'll get two different ones and then we can we can try them both. Yeah, go for it. I'm going to go for the dragon fruit. This looks nice. Yeah, that looks lovely. What will I go for? This looks like something you would like. Yeah, like passion fruit I think yeah, fruit. yeah I'll get that that'll be nice and refreshing just what we need like one ice yes please uh, and mine's will be like this one yeah and this one <laughs> all these little um, fake display things they have at this market makes it so much easier to order yeah point 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 very handy yeah quite heavy though like, solid actually we had like similar display things to these when we were in Bangkok but it was like fake ducks um, and I was taking pictures of this like duck that was hanging and I wonder why the guy was looking at me so strange I didn't realise they were like big plastic ducks like they have here Oh well, here we are, fresh dragon fruit mm -hmm. Bad bit out I love the colour of dragon fruits It's almost like a big red onion. I know, like we can't really get fruits like this back in the UK because it, it just doesn't transport well. So it's always nice to get these exotic exotic fruits while we're traveling, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's always cool to try something a little bit different because yeah, I'd never even seen a dragon fruit until I came to Asia. So it's, it's cool to try something different. You just don't get anything like this. We have, we have like bananas, apples, oranges. <laughs> Strawberries. Yeah. I think the only other dragon fruit I saw before that was the white filling, like in the inside, not the like, dark purple. I always think the white one's tasteless though. Yeah, it's not that nice. You get it at like some of the breakfast buffies sometimes. It's not, it's not the best. That one is definitely better. For here? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I like the little trick there so you never touch your okay. straw. Do you see that? Wow. Well, go for I'll it. Wait, I'll wait. I go for it? Go for it. Oh my god. Refreshing. Alan will hate this. I love really sweet, like exotic flavours. This is very sweet, like orangey, tropical. I can smell it from here. <laughs> it's not even bothering me that every single seed is coming up that straw. It is almost like a pure puree. Yeah, like if you make a cocktail and you use like a, a puree for like a porn star martini or something. That's what it tastes like. It's absolutely delicious. That's what I thought. I can smell that from here and I just thought that smells like a porn star martini, which I absolutely hate. <laughs> so I'm just going to let Shannon enjoy her so I don't need to try. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so this happens in China like sometimes. This is actually one of the more annoying things about China is everything's digital. So when it doesn't work, it's like, it doesn't work. So Alipay is not working for us because sometimes what it says is, yeah, I can pay you because it doesn't let you use an international card. For, it work, happens in shops sometimes. And I know we were saying we liked it a few days ago, but sometimes cashless just does not work. Like we couldn't go on a bus the other day because the driver wouldn't take cash and we didn't know how to buy a ticket. So it is a bit of a pain sometimes. Yeah, it mostly happens in these like local stands or things like that. It just doesn't accept the card and there's just nothing you can do. Oh, excuse me, are you guys doing vlogging? Yes. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> are you guys Hello. like doing YouTube or something? YouTube, yes. Oh yeah, can I follow your channel? Yes, of course. Wow. Did that work? Yes, that's good. What's your name? Lou, what's, what's your name? Alan. 
Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Give yourself a shout out. Where are you from? Scotland. Scotland. I yeah. can tell, you know. <laughs> So yeah, I live in Canada, but like, I'm Chinese. We met a Canadian here earlier tonight. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah that's so the second weird. Canadian uh -huh. we met. By the way, do you speak like Chinese or something? No. No? <laughs> no. So how do you communicate? Uh, very Translate. <laughs> Translate? Translate? Yeah. That's okay. Oh. Let me just take a Are you here for New Year? Yeah, it's just here for New Year. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you guys just buying a drink from here? Yeah, yes. have some street food and some juice. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Have you guys come to China before? Oh, this is the first time? First time. Just let me tell you something. Before here was so big, but right now it's become way smaller. Really? Yeah, because they're building a, a big mall there. So ah, that's, that's why, that sucks. Yeah, you see all this building? Yeah. yeah. Before there was an old street for like this. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And now it's smaller? And, before and, it was better? Yeah, before it was way better. Ah. So there's not much people coming here. That's quite sad. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. It's still good selection. Yeah. Oh, well, have fun, guys. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. See you. Do you get it sorted? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so. Good. We managed to pay now. Moment of truth. Look at the colour of this drink. Looks like beetroot or something. Beetroot. Now, I definitely don't want to get this on my white hoodie. Is it quite thick? Yeah, it's not as sweet as we would have liked, but it's nice. Do you want some of mine? A wee bit of sugar, yeah, I'll try yours. <laughs> oh, no. Absolutely not. But yeah, this is nice. Not quite the night to have a nice... Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Not quite the night to have a an iced cold drink. It's absolutely freezing tonight. But, but it got rid of the... It did. It got rid of the, the, rid of the, the stinky, stinky taste. Yeah, so... Are you still hungry, Shannon? Yeah, I've got maybe two or three more things in me. Let's go. Oh, right, drinks are done, but my hands are absolutely freezing from holding that. Like, my fingers are nearly numb. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this has made me absolutely freezing or the temperature has dropped, but I've tried something that might heat us up. These look super tasty. Thanks. Little roast potatoes. Very oily, yep. <laughs> but I'm sure they'll be tasty. Uh, One. Oh yeah, Just as Shannon was saying, the temperatures dropped. I don't think I've ever been to a country where it fluctuates so much. One day like, we have shorts and t-shirts on, and it's like sunny and warm. And the next day, it's like, I've got two hoodies on right now. Crazy. Never been somewhere where it goes up and down in the space of a few days. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Little heat up. <laughs> nice and steamy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, look at this stand here. Sausages being cooked on coals. I have never saw that. Looks like a big uh, paella pan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cooking on coals. Must be healthier because there's no oil. Ah. We don't have that problem over here. over here. Yeah. This is what we ordered before when we thought we had stinky tofu. You can see the complete <laughs> difference here. Paprika. Herbs. Yeah, it's not, uh, and water. Like a nice chilli oil oh, over yeah. it. We loved it. <laughs> None of that nonsense we just ate. Oh god. Oh. At least you're straining them. <laughs> not been the healthiest of <laughs> no. nights, has it? Absolutely not. So she's frying it around in the pan with some herbs. So I think that should soak up some of the oil. Good. Oil was not good for my stomach. No. I think it's good for anyone. <laughs> so I say this much look like practically deep fried. They're gonna be tasty though. Like a chippy. Chippy, yes, the Scottish theme continues. <laughs> now I'm not expecting to be completely wild by these. They're just potatoes and spices, but it's nice to get something quite plain and something like what we would have at home sometimes, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Warm. Oh my god, my eyes! <laughs> my eyes are literally watering up, that is so hot. Wow, I did not taste a single thing there, but it did have a nice crunchy outside. <laughs> Shall we wait, wait five minutes? I think we should wait. <laughs> so we smashed a few of these little potatoes, they're alright. As Shanna said, they're just potatoes, but they're doing the job of warming us up. Not really worth talking about, so let's destroy these and see if we can find another one or two interesting things. A bit cooler now. Yes, everyone, I can eat it normally now. 
Now, we have spied something that we have never seen before. It's like these two leaves, and in between it, we have some sort of meat, and then it is flattened and deep fried. Let me show you. Well, here we are here. Isn't that the most perfect leaf you've ever saw? Yeah. So look, this is what it is. So it's like um, big leaves like this, a little bit of pork, well it looks like pork, and then just slap Why? together and deep fried. Another deep fried yes. thing? <laughs> so much oil tonight. I kind of want to know what leaf it is. I know. We'll ask what it is. Yeah, just get one. 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 I don't know what that means. I think that means ten. Does that mean ten? Ten. Okay, well done. So, it means ten. <laughs> we are learning as we go in China. Wait, what? Oh my god, there's about six in there. <laughs> Spices? Oh, I was yeah. doing that thing again. Uh, yeah. I was doing that thing again, I can't pay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah. <laughs> What one did you scan that? That blue one, yeah. I don't even know why I'm trying it. I know it won't work. Ah. Okay. You got your phone, I'll ask her if she has another payment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's happened again. Alipay does not want to let us pay. Ah, so you can pay her alley pay. So I've asked if I can pay to her alley pay because QR code is not working. So let's see. Is it this lady? Yeah. Yeah. No work. It doesn't work. Does not work? No. Do you have Alipay on your phone and I can send it there? <laughs> okay. Uh, and does not work. My hands are so cold, I can't work my phone screen. <laughs> you? Yours? Uh, uh, they're not getting that it's not working. It's not going to work. We're not getting the, the pork leaves, I don't think. Oh, sorry, it doesn't. Okay. Sorry. No, it's okay. Are you sure? Ah. Oh. Oh, wow, we sweetheart. That's so kind. I can't believe how many of them you get for like a pound. We thought we were only going to buy one. How many have we got? Four. Four? I Hello. hope they're tasty. It literally is. It literally is just a leaf being deep fried. Will I go first? I'm not sure where the meat goes inside it. That is crunchy. <laughs> I don't know the taste of anything yet. Any, any meat? A wee bit. It's really oily. That's it inside. <laughs> Disappointed? Completely. Hello. I wasn't expecting a whole load, but Shannon, you have a wee bit of that one. It's very weird. I don't have to go for this little. I mean, it just kind of tastes of like deep fried. Yeah, it's just oil and yeah. batter that kind of taste. So there's not much going on. It's not. It's 
not bad, but it's not like wow. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Well, that was the girl That's from the just exactly what I was going to say. It's not bad, there's just nothing happening. But we are where something is happening. Quite end on a high. Yeah. Hi, Mama. Get half? Yeah, we get half. How do you ask for half? Uh, like, what? Uh, 25. 25. This one? 25. Yeah. Oh. We've saved the best for last. We've got a big, massive, Deep fried pork belly. Hopefully, the payment works. Oh, God, I know, don't. <laughs> <laughs> we won't get this one for free, no. it's expensive. Oh, I can get a heat off that, a little heater. Oh. I honestly think, see, when you see these pork belly stands, like these honestly look fake. I know, look at them. Do you see these like fake boots that they sometimes put at the front of their stands? Like they're almost too perfect. And I thought this was a big carrot when I first walked by. Like no it. idea what it is. Then I thought it was like a bit of wheat wrapped in bacon or something. That might be fat actually. Like crispy fat. Oh. It looks like it. I mean for the sake of 50 pence, should we have just got a big one? I'm just being greedy. I was thinking <laughs> this, I was thinking this, but then you said. I will. Shall we just get the full? Yeah. I don't know if she's cooked at all. I don't know. Uh, spicy. Spicy, yeah. You you give it that? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my lord. You just want to get the the large. Yeah, do you want to? Yeah, actually, can we get the uh, 30? Ah, uh, 30? Yes, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are we like? How is this the last thing of the night? I know. And this is like the biggest portion we're getting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that looks really tasty. Well, I don't think That's we'll be needing a lettuce though. So. Nah. Right, the moment of truth. Please work. Oh God, it's got her actual face on it. Yay! Oh, it worked. <laughs> Chen, thank you. Chen. Oh my God, look at that. That is crispy. Now, I like the look of this one because sometimes when you get, um, sometimes when you get pork belly, it's quite fatty on the outside, but you can see that all that is just proper crispy. Then you've got like the red meat color and then the white center. You jealous, Alan? Ready? Hurry up. <laughs> oh my god, listen. Oh. Wow. This is the right choice to end on this. Wow. Good. <laughs> 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 oh what? <laughs> oh my lord! <laughs> my favourite thing in the world. It's got that like barbecue taste. Mm. I think that actually comes from the the sort of darker meat. Mm. That is perfect. See being able to come to a street food stand in the middle of the city and be able to buy all that for just over three pound. It's like <laughs> insane. <laughs> It makes us so happy eating this. <laughs> Let me tell you something. We were in the Philippines last month and we went to like a, a buffet and they had so much of this that it's quite tough sometimes and I had really sore teeth and jaws because I ate that much of it. God knows how much I ate, but like you can never get enough of this. Just look how crispy that is. Oh my god. This is by far the best thing we've ate tonight, Shannon. Oh, by a mile. Yeah, a lot of, of the food that we've ate tonight is kind of like snack food. This one feels like an actual meal and it's not that greasy and it's fulfilling. See, it's funny you say it's not that greasy, but it's probably the fattiest. I know. <laughs> it's just because it's crunchy. <laughs> well, that was fantastic. What a fun night. We've not really managed to find many places like this while we've been in China, so it's nice to just wander around and pick up, pick up some little street food snacks. Um, definitely pork was my 
my favourite. But it's always nice to try some of the local foods, whether they're good or they're bad. Yes, same with Shannon. Pork was the best. Tofu was the worst. Everything else was pretty decent. We tried to try things for the video that we hadn't tried before. So it's more interesting that way than just eat the same thing. But I think we've done a pretty good job. There was one thing, we wanted to try a starfish, but I was not brave enough to eat a starfish off the street. Yeah. But that ties the video up, so thank you for watching. See you in the next one.